Hi, I'm Aspen Miller, and I'm here with Mr. Gay to talk about everything going on with the coronavirus. All right, guys. So um, you probably picked up on a couple things. I'm glad you're all here. Pay attention. We have a lot of information for you that we want to share before the end of the school day. So the big, the big story is York County schools have agreed to close for two weeks starting Monday. So York County schools are closing starting Monday. That means us too. Uh, for two weeks, we'll get some more information. I, it may have come out actually in the last 20 minutes from Dr. Seidel in a school messenger post. When I get back to my office after the buses are released, what I'll do is copy that post and put it on Schoology so you all have the same information. But I think something probably went out to the community sometime in the last 15, 20 yeah. minutes. And you can see the information on Penn Live. It's now on news stations, things like that. So that's where we are. So you're probably wondering, how do we do school then? Yeah. How do we do school? So this is how we do school. Um, and your teachers, we've already talked with them about it. Um, we'll be using Schoology. Fortunately, as a school, we're in a pretty good shape. Our teachers know how to use Schoology. Our kids know how to use Schoology. It's an effective learning management system. So teachers will be loading stuff onto Schoology. And that's how we'll deliver instruction. Um, we've already did the survey to see who doesn't have robust or, or reliable internet service. Um, and we've called down kids to make sure they had thumb drives so they could start downloading stuff off their Schoology pages that they could work on offline. If you're in that boat, you're free to come grab one uh, on your way out. We have them in the office. Um, so that's really the key. The, the idea will be to check Schoology every day. What I'll do is put on Schoology a Google form, a link to a Google form that each day I'll ask every student to sign in on uh, as long as you have internet access. Um, if you don't have internet access, I'll have another plan. I'll probably have a, a, um, a phone number for you to call into and leave a voicemail indicating you're present. Um, so we have the means to take attendance and that's what we'll do. Um, and then we'll ask you to do your schoolwork. Teachers will be some, you know, sending out assignments like they do all the time using Schoology. Um, Teachers aren't, there's no expectation you'll be working seven and a half hours a day like you would at school. That's not what we're doing. But I've asked teachers to have at least a task per day. So each teacher would have a task per day. That task could be a writing assessment, it could be reading, um, it could be watching a video. Um, some teachers will have interactive lectures. Some teachers will ask you to log on at a specific time so they can interact with you. There's a hundred different ways for this to work. I think we're opening up Google Hangouts. I think there's some effort to do to make that happen. So we have as many means to communicate as possible. So that's really the big plan instructionally, right? Yeah. The next question everybody's asking is... What happens with sporting events what and happens prom, to sporting events? extracurriculars? Yeah. So we won't have things for these next two weeks. You know that SATs for tomorrow were canceled. Um, well, they're either canceled or postponed. Dr. Bierker sent out some information. I just haven't had a chance to read it. Um, we just heard the announcement after school activities are closed are, are shut down. Um, I think Dr. Seidel's communication will have a little bit more information specifically. Prom is after the two weeks, so if if we all return to school and things like that, we intend to have prom, um, and we'll work out ticket sales and and that stuff as that comes. So there's no plan to cancel prom at this point. Um, there's no plan to cancel THON at this point. So those things are still on as far as we know. Um, but of course, with school closed, things in the next two weeks, those things um, aren't scheduled. So we'll work through them as we figure them out. Um, this is kind of unprecedented for us. We've never gone through this process. So there's a lot of figuring it out as you go. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Sure, sure. So most importantly, take stuff home today. So if you have books, instruments if you're an instrumental musician if you're an athlete and you know you keep your training shoes your running shoes in your gym locker take them home so you can run at home because you can do stuff outside right um, but don't leave stuff here the school will be shut down the school will be shut down so we don't have an answer really a way for you to get in so take everything you need most of our kids have a ton of books but i know like english teachers were giving out bo extra books Listen, two weeks, there's also the boredom thing. You know, if you want to, on your way out, pop in the library and see if there's a book that you want to take, or you know, teachers who have classroom libraries take something. Um, you know, we, we don't want you to be bored, I'm sure, with TikToks. <laughs> you, you won't be. <laughs> yes. <Whatever>. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um, so, you know, with all that going on, um, just make sure you take your stuff. We've talked to, for some of you who would be concerned, we talked to teachers who have classroom pets to make sure they take home classroom pets today. Um, hamsters. Hamsters and <laughs> lizards and whatnot. So those are going home. So we, we thought of that stuff. 
Um, people are asking about what the end of the year will look like, and that's kind of a big deal. We don't know that yet. We are working to figure it out um, between flexible instructional days and Act 80 days. And these are just a couple of ways that we can count school differently than we're used to. So we don't know that. We're waiting to hear a lot of information from the Department of Education and the governor's office um, to see what rules are, are waived and how things are changed. Um, we don't know anything about a. Um, we don't know anything about AP testing yet. I don't believe um, that will come from College Board. And when we have that information, we'll set. We'll share it. And we don't know anything about Keystones yet. That's another thing that PDE. Uh, that's the Pennsylvania Department of Education will tell us and will respond. So listen. When you're home, please be safe. Avoid big crowded areas. Right. That's why we're probably doing this. Right. To for containment. So avoid big crowded areas. Be smart. Be healthy. You know, you can get outside and walk or, or do whatever, you know, go take a run, whatever. Um, and, you know, reach out to us. We'll all, we'll be on Schoology. We'll send out some information about our set hours that will be on uh, Schoology. You'll have access to your teachers, administrators, school counselors, the nurse. You'll be able to reach out to all those people through Schoology um, and we'll be responding. We'll have set hours that we're on and we'll communicate those um, so that you have access to that. Um, if something's gone at home that you need help with, by all means, let us know, um, whether it's a food situation or whatever. And on that note, we have some bags of like produce, some salads and fruit, applesauce, stuff like that. It's, I think Mr. Izzy is manning a table in the lobby. No questions asked on your way out if that's something your family, you or your family could use. Just grab, grab a bag, uh, you have a couple bags, out, you have quite a few bags out there. Grab a bag and take that home. Um, this is a weird situation. We wanna make sure our <laughs> kids are fed and that, that you have what you need. So. That's what we have. Well, Anything else? No, that's it. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Gay. Absolutely. Make sure you have your stuff, be safe, and keep checking Schoology. Thank you, everyone, for joining us for this special edi edition of High Street News. Stay classy and healthy, Northeastern. Cheers.